Hey guys, this is Timogen with uh, King of Avalon and just wanted to uh, go through a video with Firelands. It's about to start and uh, gonna first thing to do is get ready for this. You need to have your talents on war because people are going to hit you. It's just an easy opportunity to fight people. It's also a good opportunity to learn about stats and how different stats work and what troop formations work because sometimes you can hit people and uh, they've got the right or wrong troops and uh, it does or doesn't work out for you but you can see here how I set my talent points uh, I'm not real big on Bowman defense or health um, it's the third to la uh, third priority cavalry attack uh, I'm not gonna run the defense and the uh, cavalry health so I'm all, uh, but infantry health and defense are primary followed by Bowman attack then cavalry attack, and then if I have to do siege, I'll do siege. But otherwise, I try not to do siege in any of this. Um, so here, you know, you got to get both sides of this to get all the infantry. That the infantry are going to be the most important troops you have because they're going to protect your bowmen and your cavalry, um, and then your cavalry will also be there uh, to uh, as another line of defense before your bowmen. But your bowmen are your real big killers, so. Uh, I'm not real sure on defense or health. I just choose one and go with it. Life Preserver does no good in Firelands. Uh, probably should have just saved that point and saved these points here on Siege. I'm not real sure why I chose to put 10 on Siege. I guess that's just in case anybody hit my base that uh, they could just eat crow. So um, anyway, there we go. I'm going to put some on Cavalry Health. There was, a different, uh, there was some Cavalry Health I left in the back. Here we're going to boost. Got these two-hour boosts that uh, Merlin or somebody has given us. I'm um, going to boost up our march capacity because if we hit somebody, we want to hit them with more. Um, and we're just going to watch this time tick off here. Uh, got 20 seconds. And we're going to look around and watch this. So the big thing here is you got to collect fossils, um, and you got to collect at least thirty thousand fossils. I'll show you what that looks like here in just a second. We're going to speed through some of this. If it's if it's a little nauseating, then uh, I apologize. But uh, I know you probably there's a lot of this you probably don't want to see. Um, but we're looking for good places, and we're right beside the middle of the. Um, the, the center of the board. All the, the the really good fossil tiles are in the center of the board. Unfortunately, we're not a top tier player. We're a low to mid. You know, say we're a mid strength middle player. Maybe low low to mid strength. Uh, so we have to play smart. You know, we don't get to fight like revenge and just crushing other people. Love watching that guy's videos. Um, just because he spent the money and he you know he gets to play the game like he wants to play it. Uh, on the other hand, I'm not going to spend that kind of money on a game. Um, I have spent a little bit on this, but uh, as you can see, I'm speeding here, so I do apologize if it's a little nauseating to you. But we're going to look at this guy. I think we can take him. Uh, so we're just going to send out a march, and we're just really kind of doing this fast so that uh, we're not really looking at troop formations because we've got a lot of power on the guy, and we got T-10s. So T-10s are, are a lot more powerful than the T-9s. And so we're going to go for us, go through this. And so one of the things I'll talk a little bit about uh, through this video is the kind of the cues to look for on who's strong and who's weak and, and what to avoid and who's looking for a fight and who's looking to just gather fossils and not fight. So we know this guy's weak, so we're going to send another march at him. Um, so he's got, you know, 30 million power, and uh, if, if he's... Uh, stronghold 22 or higher, uh, he's got T8s. If he's stronghold 26 or higher, he's got T9s. And, of course, the stronghold 30s have the T10s. Uh, so if they have, uh, you know, troop formations or whatever. Okay, so let, let's let's back up and go to this. Uh, where you want to finish in this is in the top 50. This is, I actually made a top 50 finish here. It came down to the wire, as you'll see. But what we want, we, you know, we 30 advanced skill of uh, Fragment chest, hero fragments, uh, the valor gem, uh, the valor stone or valor chest is what we really, really want. You also want to collect at least thirty thousand fossils so that you can get all these rewards. That uh, represents two hundred and ten prestige banners. 
Um, and right now we're just kind of waiting on the collecting fossils. So I'm going to look at these things. This uh, raw valor gemstone fragments, uh, this is where I'm spending my spire money. I'm at 86 fragments right now. So the next time this resets and I get to buy 15 more, I'll have a new level 4 valor gem. Uh, the other thing that I think is great on here are the prestige banners and the steel. Steel is always, always hard to get. Um, and then another thing that I think I can see using down the road are the uh, assault points. Um, so here, you know, we've got somebody just kind of invading our, our – that wasn't me. That was somebody else. Uh, just kind of caught them attacking somebody. And um, – you know, one thing I'll talk about is, is if if somebody figures out that they can bully you, they'll keep a, attacking your tile uh, and making taking your tile from you. So I have one guy that he keeps doing this too. He he did it to me a couple times, and you'll see him here in a second. But uh, the reason why is because he's got you know nine hundred thousand troops. And whenever they have that temporary relic on, that means they're there to fight. This guy, unfortunately, right here beside it is in a shield. That means he doesn't want to fight. And in fact, if you're on a tile and uh, you're both marching the tile at the same time and they're shielded, their troops will bounce and not even attack your troops. So that's one thing you can look for. If somebody that is shielded is going toward a tile, you just need to race them to the tile and beat them to the tile. And then their troops won't even end up uh, hitting your, your troops. They'll just bounce back off. Okay, so we got somebody is scouting us here, and what I do is uh, the the where it says gathering there on the left, I click on those different buttons and hop to the different fossil tiles that I'm collecting, and um, so you can see this guy, he's already bullied me off once, and uh, you never want to uh, unless you know that you've got a victory, you're going to get a win. You never want to take a hit on the tile. Okay, because if you lose, you get no fossils. So you want to always call your troops back. And uh, sometimes you let them go. That guy's got a lot more power than me. He's got a lot, but I'm assuming he's probably got a lot better stats than me. He's got a temporary relic on, which means that he is probably uh, looking to fight. And um, so I don't want to fight with that guy. Uh, I've got okay stats. They're not great. Uh, so I'm not going to get in a fight with somebody who has great stats and um, has a temporary relic on. Uh, so anyway, we're just kind of moving through the different tiles here. This guy's coming at me again. Uh, let's see. Yeah, same guy. And as we can see, I've got no troops there. I've got 50, you know, enough just to collect the uh, fossils that are there. And, you know, so we're just going to let him come to us. And we're going to let him get as close as possible. See, temporary relic, 48 million kills. I'm not going to fight that guy. Kills is another thing you can look at. So besides power, you can look at their kills. If they've got you know, less than 10 million kills, they're probably not somebody who's fought a lot. They haven't uh, accumulated a lot of assault power uh, or assault points to go toward their dragon to boost up their dragon skills and also dragon experience. So somebody with low kills is probably not somebody you're worried about. So that's another thing you can look at are the kills whenever you look at their profile page uh here i'm just kind of i'm a little low on troops so we're going to send in siege now i'm going to send in the distant siege and not the melee siege because i want those those guys to uh they march a lot they march a lot faster and they got a lot better attack quality uh the melee siege or the uh slow i call them bulldozer siege they uh they're only really there to knock down traps uh the distant siege will actually launch some stuff but you'll see here in a minute that siege are not really that great of uh that great by themselves so if you can catch somebody with them by themselves then you're good here i'm kind of speeding through this is uh stronghold 30 attacking me with two hundred eleven thousand troops I'm going to let them have that tile because I don't feel like my troops can beat them, and they've probably gotten me beat on stats. So I'm just going to pull back. I'm going to find a new one, going to zip through, and a, a lot of Firelands, it's an hour of a lot of waiting and a little bit of action. So you'll see that time and again where we just kind of flip through these things. And this guy's got 27 million power. Apologize, buddy. We, you're probably fixing to go home. You know, we're going to, we're going to uh, burn your walls and send you out of here. Um so what you're looking for, you're looking for tiles for smaller strongholds, and you want to take those back from them. Or a lot, and what you don't see a lot of because I've edited it out is the, that I have um, I restart my game often because a lot of times the little fossil tiles aren't showing up, 
and you can go ahead and collect your fossils in the middle of the game. But um, so this guy, this MTA, we'll just call him MTA. He's got 37 million kills, which is kind of iffy. He's only 58 million power, so he probably just got done with KVK and got hit really hard. But uh, with that many kills, that should be a red flag. Um, that the guy's probably got some pretty good stats. Uh, and here the daily rewards have really stepped up. Here's a, some really good dragon boosts. These are a lot better daily rewards than they take. This is pretty much the only place I spend money. Those five, ten, and twenty dollar uh, daily rewards. They had one a few days ago that was uh, a battle one with speed ups and boosts and all that in the 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 highest boosts that are in there. So you can see this MTA guy. So here's a spot where I can let him bully me. Number one, I'm not going to let him hit that tile and take the and make me lose those fossils. I need those fossils. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pull those back. And a little time goes by. We speed it up a little bit. Um, you know, he, he's got a lot of... But you see, he replaced his tile. He called his main troops back and sent enough troops back to gather the tile. And then as soon as mine lands, I know that he doesn't have a lot of troops there. So I don't really care what his stats are unless he's some freaking animal like revenge or something. I'm not gonna i'm not worried about that guy so this shows him i'm not going to be bullied uh going back to this tile so now he has to call back and he has to find another tile or he has to decide to fight me uh and at twenty seven thousand uh fossils already gathered i had to make a decision at this point do i want to start fighting and just pour it around and start killing some people you can see he's got all siege right there uh, I've got him beat on a couple of things in research, a lot of things in research. Uh, so I've out researched him. Um, here in Lord Talents, he has nothing on that Lord Talents side. I've got him beat on equipment. Now he might have his other equipment to, uh, on. So in a lot of places, I've got his equipment uh, beat. Uh, so I've kind of figured out that MTA, if I want to fight him, it's probably going to be a good chance that I'm going to be able to beat that guy. Uh, here, this is the same, same, uh, that other same player that's coming in and, and fight me. I'm, 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 I'm over 30,000 fossils at this point. So I can choose to just fight or I can choose to try to make a top 20, uh, top 50 finish. Uh, and you kind of got to, you got to make that gut call, whether you think you can do it here or not, because if you're trying to make a top 50 finish and you don't finish, then you may as well have finished in the top thousand because, uh, if you don't get that Valor chest, uh, it's really just not worth the, the fight of trying to stay in there. You know, 50 to 100 is not real great. Uh, this guy here, I've been kind of watching him a little bit as my troops are coming back. I know he's a weaker player, but, um, if you'll see there, okay, so that just got scouted by MTA. So, uh, you know, we're, it's, there's, there's some activity going on. It makes it a little bit more exciting than just sitting here and, and collecting fossils. Um, so here comes MTA. He's going to run my troops off. He's got 142,000, probably against my 5,000. So we're going to call this back. So that way we don't lose those fossils. We want to have those fossils come in so we can make a top 20 finish or top 50 finish. Um, here I know that I've got, I've got competitive stats with him and so I can, uh, I'm okay to fight with him. I thought about teleporting beside him and busting him. I see that I've only got a little bit of troops out right there. Um, I don't, I don't know why I didn't wait on my other troops to get home. Um, you'll see here, they'll come populate back here in a second. There's the other troops. Uh, I want 10 to 20,000 infantry in just about all attacks and, uh, I'm going to boost up with cavalry bowman and uh cavalry and then the rest of these what i really uh, the mounted destroyers something great with mounted destroyers is, is they target infantry uh they have boosts on infantry you get three free speed ups with uh in fireland so you get three free uh advanced teleports and three free speed ups above that you have to start paying for them so i'm gonna go ahead and hit this guy i'm thinking i got stats on him uh, he tried to bubble there too late. Uh, he, I guess he didn't have an instant recall. He couldn't call his troops back. I'm pretty excited here. You know, I'm uh, I'm, just, I'm a new Stronghold 30, so I'm thinking, man, I just took out a Stronghold 30. 181 tro 181,000 troops. I got him. I didn't lose a whole lot. Looks good. I'm feeling pretty strong there. Um, but uh, we'll look at it here again here in just a second. So we're going to jump here and we're going to grab these. Uh, we need to catch a new tile. Yes, we want to hit that tile because um, that's a weaker player. Um, so we're going to go hit this one as well. 
So not sending seeds here. We want to march fast. And we're just kind of uh, trying to gather as much as we possibly can. So you want to check people's power and then their kills. Um, and that's going to that's gonna give you a lot of information about how strong somebody is. So this guy, you, we can see he's weaker. So we're just going to send a load of troops. Um, once again, that's my wife. I guess she loves to text me whenever I'm making videos. So they hit each other, and then I'm going to come behind them and hit them. They're weaker players. I'm okay with this. Um, so they're not stronghold 30s. Now, a lot of times, you can you know, they don't have to be a stronghold 30 to have better stats. Um, I, we've got a, a girl that plays with us, Jess. She's got warmongers at a 20. She's a 28 now, but she's been a 26 forever. So I'm going to go back and look at this 181,000 kill on, on uh, MTA. He's actually got me beating all the stats except for Siege. Uh, so how did I win this battle? Uh, so I, it kind of confounded me and confused me a little bit. And then um, we're going to jump down here to the bottom, and we're going to look at what troops were there. You know, I think I've got a little bit. I've got a little bit better dragon than he's got, but uh, he's got better, uh, better stats overall. And then we'll we'll flip down here to the bottom. Okay, my troops. I didn't hardly lose anything. I lost some T seven and some weaker. You know, with my mixed marches. Uh, but he's got only siege. So you, as you can see, siege is just by themselves are not any good at defending. So he had with even with better stats on his other stuff. Uh, I had him covered on siege, but I didn't send siege. So um, anyway, you can see where um, that kind of turned out bad for him. Someone hadn't hit this guy. He was actually attacking somebody. So as long as you're not attacking other players, I'm pretty much going to leave you alone. But if you if I see that you're starting to bully and starting trying to start pushing people off of uh, tiles, I'll pretty much go ahead and hit you. Um, I'll hit other people on tiles. That guy there right above me ported to me and kind of uh, – he's somebody I probably wouldn't have fought. He had a, a temporary relic. And uh, so I wasn't really interested in fighting with him. Uh, these people here – and we're going ahead and hit them. We only need to send a little bit because they've only got 5,000 troops. So we only need to send about 20, which is about what I had left on my automatic. Um, my, my that's what, Actually, what it is is my dragon setting or my monster setting. Uh, that's what I send out at Barbarians and such. But um, So this player here, this is the player that reminded me of our player Jess. They're a stronghold 26. Well, they went ahead and scouted me, and I was like, oh, crap. So I, instant, uh, I, I thought that scout was an attack, so I instant recalled. And then they're going to come on in with, uh, with the attack. And um, so I'm going to try to go grab my, my tiles back. And here comes this attack. So the stronghold 26 just scouted me. So either they've got new equipment and they just want to try it out or... You know, they're sending a full march at me. That is a little suspicious to me. So I'm, you know, I've only got a little bit of time. Um, so what I decided to do is, is rather than hang out there and take a big hit, let's just find a new place. Let's port down and let's grab some new tiles. So whenever I can find a place that's got tiles that are easy for me to step in, jump, jump into, I jump into those. Now I'm getting somebody that's scouting me here. I change my... Um, my settings to my weaker settings my farming settings so that they can not see my true stats uh then if they try to hit me and i've got full stats on they're they're going to be a little bit surprised on how strong i am uh i've got an attack coming in i click the different gathers got a hundred thousand troops coming in from this guy we're gonna call it back now the funny thing is, is there's hardly any any fossils left at that tile and the clock's running out, so I'm not really worried about jumping back on that tile. But I'm going to hit this guy. I've got a little extra time. So uh, this is got a weak player going to be attacking at the same time. So I'll hit it as well. Uh, just, you know, trying to make his top 20 finish. And I, and I know I'm close. Or top 50 finish. I know I'm close. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to spend an extra 100 gold pieces. I'm trying to accumulate gold pieces so that I can start buying Warmonger gear. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and spend the 100 gold pieces and uh, just try to get these extra fossils in. Because as you can see, there's only a minute left in the in the round. Uh, so I'm going to jump over here, hit this guy, take that from him. 
I wish that you would get the fossil that they collected. Then that would give a lot more incentive to be hitting tiles. Uh, so, so if Koa wanted to make that adjustment, I think that would make people a lot more aggressive in this. Or well, then again, that may be the reason why they don't do it like that. All right. So this guy has the unfortunate uh, is uh, unfortunately just kind of is beside me. As the clock runs out, I don't even think I'll get to hit him because you can see the clock is out right there. It's kind of like, well, this is after the buzzer, so this is a technical foul. I'm going to bust this guy just for the sake of it. I've got an attack coming in, but I don't know where it is. I hit him. He's gone. Uh, he was smart, didn't have any troops home. Unfortunately, the clock ran out, so he'd got him back anyway. So here we are. We got this Firelands reward. The uh, expert fire medal. This is what we played for. We made a top 50 finish. Congratulations. I am so freaking excited. I'm so excited to even screenshot it. Okay, so we're going to collect these. There's a lot of rune stones in there. Um, and so I'm looking for this chest. There's rune stones. Yes, collect rune stones. Got, that's great. Uh, got these gemstones. Wonderful. Level two, six level two. That's wonderful. Where is the freaking valor chest? All right, there it is. There's the expert fire metal. So first thing it is, you got to click the plus, choose which which award you want. So we want this valor gemstone chest, and choose it. Confirm. Uh, so we're you know I'm thinking I got a I got I got a valor gem right here. So I'm excited about it. Bam. Valor gemstone chest. There should be a Valor gem inside of this chest. What the what? Refining stones. Oh my gosh. What is the freaking deal with that? I fought so hard to get a stronghold, uh, to get a top 50 finish and then in.